hi guys welcome to the teaching and learning today in this lesson i'm going to share some more questions and i'm sure these questions are going to help you and in your pedagogy and other uh, teaching exams so today's lesson is very short and i'll be focusing on two teaching approaches and uh, you have to watch this video till the end and these uh, uh, teaching approaches we mostly every teacher uh, applies in the classroom so what we have to do that we have to identify what teaching approaches is this and how we call these teaching approaches okay and with this categories so these teaching approaches are related with the uh, behaviorism and uh, constructivism which i have already mentioned about the thorndike's uh, uh, behavioral approaches okay so but uh, there are the few uh, tips uh, i'm going to tell you uh, while you are facing the questions and you are uh, uh, the questions related to these two approaches how you have to respond and how you have to identify this one before that you have to subscribe to the teaching and learning if you want more videos press the bell icon button your suggestions will be highly appreciated so in this video guys let's see what two approaches i'm going to share the first approach is the uh, teacher centered approach or the teacher focused approach and uh, the other one is the student centered or a student of uh, focused uh, approach so how these are different to each other uh, we're gonna uh, i'm gonna tell you in this uh, lesson so first in the teacher uh, centered uh, you can see here uh, that is the approach which is the, in which teachers function in the uh, family role of the classroom lecture and presenting the information to the students who are accepted expected to passively receive the knowledge and be so in this category the teacher is the center and expert of the classroom however the learners are the noises and they are the new to the learning and the teacher has to focus on that how to uh, deal and share the information and what teaching strategies has to apply so teacher has to care all about the things about which is which ensures the learning so this concept is related with the behaviorism okay what else we can see that uh, 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 in other aspects we're gonna see that the uh, child child's uh, focus is different and uh, it's a vice versa then so in child centered uh, there are the three things uh, that the child or learner has to focus on what uh, he want to learn how he want to learn and where he, he want to learn so these are the three things which learner has to decide even in child centered uh, there is also the role of the teacher but the teacher is only to uh, facilitate the role of that so you can see here number two the teaching method in which the teacher is still uh, the classroom authority figure but the functions as a more of each uh, coach or facilitator as a student embrace a more active and a collaborative role in their own learning so uh, what are you know uh, the teaching teacher centered learning pro approaches uh, we uh, comply in a classroom but sometimes we don't know so i have listed uh, some of the teaching uh, styles uh, which uh, will help you to understand the teacher center for, uh, for, uh, for uh, focused and uh, uh student uh, centered uh, style so here you can see these are uh, some uh, which is a teacher centered learning style which is a lecturing approach where the direct instructions modeling assessment scaffolding questions drilling and self quizzing so these are some of the uh, uh, teacher uh, centered styles while well, the le lecturing we know that it's a old method of that but a uh, teacher has to deliver this content in front of you know the students they have to take the notes okay so the whole responsibility is the uh, teacher and the second you can see that a direct uh, instruction which teacher has to deliver these uh, uh, content and explain them these concept and uh, rather than of relying to discover the information their own so the instruction has been given in the, by teacher so this is a teacher center modeling when they have you know as an expert the teacher will model what they expect from the students look like so teacher will give them instructions that how you have to model the project and visualize and demonstrate all these things and this one 
but even it can be the student center when you are applying okay their self learning the student has to uh, decide what exactly they have to plan and demonstrate for them a uh, quiz is uh, scaffolding questioning these all are the uh, teacher centered drilling which is the approach uh, repetition or memorization of the content and um, the student teacher has to uh, enforce the students they have to write a response is uh, longer shorter or like these you know so this is these are the some uh, examples of the teacher centered approach however student centered approach this inquiry based again questioning okay inquiry based the student has to decide role play the drama and peer work group work project they have to decide personal learning they have to decide what exactly they want to learn so guys these are the some our uh, learning styles of the uh student centered or for student focused uh, style and you can see and what is the difference between the uh, teacher centered and student centered i'm sure that uh, you like this information if you have any suggestion and comment uh, don't forget to write your feedback your subscription is highly appreciated we'll be meeting uh, in the next lesson till that bye stay blessed and Stay safe. Thank you so much.